Hello, this is Jonathan, KM4CFT. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build and install a narrow CW filter for the Yaesu FT817 or 818 um, radios. So, um, if a few like a month ago, a couple weeks ago, um, end of December of 2022, Yaesu announced that they're discontinuing the FT818 due to part short shortages. So of course I had to get myself over it, one of them because I've been wanting to get one. I just had been waiting for it. Uh, and since I do primarily CW, that means I kind of wanted to have a narrow filter and these things do not come installed with a narrow filter. So normally what you do is, is the, I believe it's the YF122CN is the narrow filter that's used for the Yezu radios. And unfortunately, those radios are, or those filters are unobtainium. Uh, the two companies, uh, the, the two people who distributed those radio, those um, stopped making them a while ago. So um, the only real way of doing it these days, and quite frankly also cheaper, is to build one yourself. And honestly, it's not that difficult to do. So. Before you start, you're going to need to get yourself a the actual well, Collins mechanical filter, which is this one here. It's the um, 526-869-3010, 500 hertz mechanical filter is what I've gone with. There's also a 300 hertz version, but you can look that up. So that you can do, you can find these on eBay, They're typically sold from, sold they're sold by people from Japan. So you can get that. Um, they will cost run you anywhere between a hundred and hundred fifty dollars. Let's see here. And then what you need to do is you need to contact the guy in Poland named Arter, um, SB six AV, um, and tell him what um, what uh, filter you got, and he will charge you. It's, at the time of this video, he was charging $10 per board plus $6 shipping, at least to the US. Um, and I will link to a to the um, blog post that um, Thomas Witherspoon made that has all this information. So I'd recommend you check out his post because this is where I'm basically just ripping it all from there. So all you need to do is get that and this is what it looks like. And then all we need to do is solder it on, solder this in place. So I'm gonna get the soldering iron heated up and we'll be right back. All right, so um, I've got my soldering iron heated up. Since I am using lead-free solder, this is SAC 305 um, solder. Uh, I've got my um, iron heated up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. I've cleaned up the tip. Um, and all we need to do is solder this onto this. It's not that complicated. So if you, you what you can do is you can tape the tape this component in place, but um, it's tall enough where I can just drop it in like that, so it'll drop into the center, and I can flip it over. Just set it like that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my iron, and I'm a lefty, so. If you're right-handed, then put your iron in your dominant hand. And I recommend when you're soldering, if you're having the solder pins, try to avoid um, soldering the ground pin first, which you can see this center pin right here is the ground, so it's gonna take longer to heat up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna solder this one in place first. Like that. Then I'll solder this one in place. Like that. And then finally, I'll do the ground pin. You can see it's taking a little bit longer, but only by a few seconds. And with that, we are done with this. Thing soldered in place, it's all flat. And now we have ourselves a um, mechanical filter that is actually obtainable. So I will be right back and I'll pull out the radio. Okay, so um, I've got the radio pulled up. Um, mine's got, I've installed some side rails onto mine but won't be, that's not too important. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and we need to remove this top cover here. So basically we need to remove all the top screws except for this one and this one. These two we don't need to remove 
because those are the ones holding the speaker in place. Um, so what we need to remove is this one, this one, this one back here, and then the, the two sides, the, the top screw here, top screw here, and the same on the other side. So this one and this one. And once you unscrew those, um, this top plate should come off. Just be careful because the speaker has got a wire attached to it, so don't yank it off like crazy. Just gently remove it and you can um, optionally remove, you can also optionally unplug the thing if you want. So I'm going to unscrew this and we'll be right back. All right, so I've um, unscrewed it. And like I said, you gotta be kind of gentle with this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently pull up on this and then that disconnects this part. And right now we have our, in, you have the internals of this uh, device. So this is where the filter goes. And all you need to do is you'll notice that the left side has three pins and the right side has four pins. If you look at this, three pins and four pins. So it's gonna go in like this. So all you gotta do is with this side, with um, the filter facing up, we're going to slot it in place like this. Just gonna gently press down. Like that. And now it's installed. And so all I've gotta do is uh, reinstall, is just put back on the top plate, and then we gotta just turn on the filter. So we'll be right back again. All right, so um, I've got everything put back together, and we turn on the power supply. Um, and what we need to do now is install the, um, is just turn on the filter. So we turn on the turn on the power and let's see if I can get it better. Get you guys closer. So what we're gonna want to do is we need to enable the filter. Um, and the way we do that is press hold it, press and hold the F button. And then we, we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll to menu item number 38. Optional filter. I'm going to turn this until it says CW. And then we're done. So now if I. So now I'm in CW mode. Um, and what I'm going to do is to enable the filter. We're going to want to go and look for NAR, this one. So, let me turn up the volume, you can hear that, it's on, it's off, this is with it on. So, it works, and with that, um, you've got yourself a... Uh, a narrow filter installed on your new FT817 or 818 and you got it for cheaper and you actually managed to get it at all. So with that I'm going to say 7.3 and thanks for watching.